Hello and welcome back. In our last tutorial we went over placing actors in a scene, or rather scripting new actors that can be placed in a scene with variables that can change. So in this one I want to go over some basic models and how to get models displayed um, through script into the engine. Uh, you saw the last time when we drug something into the scene when we drug our basic actor in there, it didn't have a model, so it was completely blank and uh, invisible, but in existence. So uh, we will actually create a new class. We'll create a new item. We're going to call this one Cube Companion. We're uh, going to extend it from actor. And we're going to make it placeable. Now, and uh, you want to keep all the naming that I'm doing now because we're going to iterate more on this and we're going to add more functionality to this one in later videos. So uh, we'll get started with the meshes. So when we start off, we need to create a light to light this object. So let's start by begin, object, class is equal to uh, dynamic light envi let's see if I can spell environment um, component yes I can spell see how it turned nice greenish blue and we're gonna name it uh, my light environment and then we're going to say end object. That creates the, oh, sorry about that. That creates our basic light that we're going to use for the geometry. So now that we've created it, we want to set the light environment equal to my light environment. Uh, let's, let's just copy it equal to my light environment. And then we want to add it to the components. This is extremely important. If we don't add it to the components, it doesn't come over. Uh, component, ah, sorry, Visual Studio. You know how it auto-completes. Components, and then click, zero, and set that equal to my light, well, let's just paste it, because I have it copied still. So now we have added that to the components. Now we can start working on creating our mesh. Well, adding our mesh to being what is associated to this actor. So if we do another begin object, in fact, let me give me a little space here. And we set that to a class of a static mesh component. Let's name that block mesh. Could be named anything. I'm going to name it block mesh. And let's set the light environment to my light environment. We can just copy this line up here. And then we're going to actually set the mesh. So we're going to say um, static mesh is equal to static mesh. Open. Uh, uh, quote and we're gonna say we're gonna use a default mesh that is inside of the engine itself I will show you how to import and use your own meshes uh, later but now we're gonna use a mesh that's already inside of the editor in fact um, I believe it's called editor let me see editor meshes dot cube it's just gonna be a simple cube in fact I don't think it's editor I think it's engine I know it's engine. Engine meshes cube. And then we can go ahead and end the object. Now, continuing on, just like we did with the lights, we need to add this mesh into the components. So we'll say components, click, one is equal to block mesh. So uh, we're also going to add a display 
mesh is equal to block mesh. And that is pretty much it. I will compile it and open up the editor now. All right, here we are. I just compiled it and opened it and opened up the editor. And now we have uh oh, sorry. We have two I have two cube companions because I was doing this on a different project. So you can see down here this one says screencast.cubecompanion. So that's the correct one. You'll only have one though if uh if you're following along. So if I click and drag that into the viewport, you will see now we have a cube rather than nothing inside as this mesh. So I will con we're going to add on to Cube Companion on the next tutorial and the one after that we'll start I'll show you how to load your own meshes so that you don't have to use these basic built-in ones. Um, so that is it for this tutorial.